This video will show you the fish families that swim with their pectoral fins. These fish families include the Labridae, or wrasses, which are recognizable by their teeth and long body. The next family is the Scarinae, or parrotfish. This family you can recognize by their beak-like mouth and greenish color. The first family in this group is Labridae, or wrasses, which are recognizable by their terminal mouth with teeth and when swimming, they only use their pectoral fins for power, not tail. They are approximately 20 centimeters long and live on the reef. Their diet consists of invertebrates, and they live solitary lives. The fish in this family are very colorful. There are hundreds of species in the Labridae family, but we will only go through a few to help distinguish the differences. The first species is Chorus gamard. These have a pink head and dark green body, with bright blue spots. The most distinguishable characteristics are the spots and the bright yellow tail. Next up is Chorus agula. This species can get up to 120 centimeters in length and has a dark body with two vertical white and gray stripes. Notice the shape of the head is very distinct with a protruding forehead. This is Chilinus fasciatus. This is commonly called the red-breasted wrasse due to the bright red coloration behind the head and around the pectoral fin. The rest of the body has alternating vertical black and white stripes through to the tail. Chilinus undulatus, the Napoleon wrasse. This is one of the largest wrasse species, reaching over two meters in length. Besides the large size of some, you can see the high body, protruding forehead, and vertical patterning over the body. Next is Chilinus oxycephalus. These have a very small mouth and sloping head and a bright red body. Next is Sirhilibris exquisitus. These are very patterned with bright colors. Overall, the body is light blue and green with bright blue lines and spots overlaying. The next Labridae species is Anamsis meleagridis. These are black with uniform white spots down the length of the body that end with a bright yellow tail. Next is Anamsis twisty. These have a yellow breast and a dark body overlaid with bright blue spots. There is also a larger spot on the end of the dorsal and anal fin. Next is Gomphosis ceruleus, the bird wrasse. This is the only wrasse which has the extended mouth as shown. Their bodies are also blue and their tail is quite distinct. Next is Hemigymnus fasciatus. These have a green head overlaid with pink patterns and a black body with four distinct white vertical stripes. Next is Chilio enormis. These are long and thin and can be a bright yellow color or light brown with horizontal stripes running down the length of the body. This is Helochoris hortulanus, the checkerboard ras. Notice the checkerboard pattern down the length of the body and the bright green head overlaid with pink patterning. Next up is Helichoris scapularis. They have a horizontal black zigzag pattern down a silver body and a green head overlaid with pink patterning. This is Oxychilinus bimaculatus. These look like Chilinus oxycephalus, but are less red and heavily patterned. Next up is Thalassoma lunare. These are a bright green color with pink patterning on the head and a bright blue tail. The back sides of the pectoral fins have a bright pink or yellow spot, which is always flashing as they swim. Generally, these are a very inquisitive species and will approach you and follow you around on the reef. This is Thalassoma hebraicum. These have the same body shape as Thalassoma lunare. However, notice the bright yellow vertical stripe behind the pectoral fin. This is only seen in males, however. Females will have all the same coloring besides the yellow stripe. Next is Thalassoma hardwick. These are silver colored with six black saddle stripes over the body and pink patterning around the eye. This is Stethodulus alba vitata. This is the female coloration, which is dark with white speckling and a yellow patch below the eye and above the pectoral fin. Males are a light green with three horizontal bright blue stripes down the body. This is Stethodulus trilineata. It looks very similar to Stethodulus albovitata, however it has four distinct bright blue lines running horizontally down the body 
and a pink dorsal fin. Next up is Bodianus axillaris. These are a reddish-brown color in the first half of the body and white on the second half. Also notice the sharp snout and yellow tail. This is Bodianus anthroides, the lyre-tail pigfish. The first half is orange-brown and the back is white with black dots. Notice the length of the dorsal, anal, and tail fins. Next is Nova Calicnis tanioris. These have a dark body, light head, and a white bar on its tail. Notice the blunt head shape and bright red eyes. The next species we will look at is Labrychthes unilineatus. These have a unilateral horizontal line pattern with a white patch behind the pectoral fin. Notice the body shape with this species and how the fins are shaped to look fused together and not there at all. Next up is Labroides bicolor, a cleaner wrasse. Bicolor in Latin refers to this species having two colors, black and yellow. They have a bright yellow tail and head and a dark stripe running down the body. The last Labridae species we will look at is Labroides diminiatus, the blue cleaner wrasse. These have a brown head and blue body with a thick black stripe running down the body. The second family, which swims with their pectoral fins, is Scarinae, or parrotfish. They are recognizable by their beak-like mouth, are approximately 35 centimeters long, and live on the reef. Their diet consists of algae, which they scrape off rocks and coral with their beak. They live in foraging harems, consisting of a group of females and one male. Once the male dies, the largest female becomes the male. The fish in this family are mostly green, yellow, and brown. Generally, females are a combination of brown and silver, while males are bright green, blue, or orange. We will now go through a few parrotfish species and highlight the main characteristics. First up is Chlororus sorditus. This is the female coloration. The body is paler near the head and becomes a dark brown near the tail. They also have six obvious white spots near the tail. This is the male coloration of Chlororus sorditus. It is bright green with purple patterns on the head and bright blue fins. The body has an orange patch near the base of the tail. This is the best way to distinguish males of this species. Next is Chlororus strongliocephalus. Females have sunset hues with red on the bottom that fades to yellow near the back and tail. Males are blue with a light yellow cheek patch, almost looking like it's blushing. The next species is Calatoma spinidens. Male and females from this species are very similar looking, with males taking on more purplish hue than females. This is Cetoscarus oscillatus, the male coloration. Males have a bright blue body with overlaying pink scale outlines and fin edges. Females have a light brown back, purplish brown head, and dark scale outlines along the bottom half of the body. Notice their tails are also a reddish brown color. Next is Hipposcarus harid, the male coloration. This species has a long snout and males are green with purple scale outlines. Females are more silver and have plain colored fins. Next is Scarus frenatus. Females are red with a black and yellow scale coloration pattern that becomes lighter closer to the back. This is the male coloration of Scarus frenatus. They are a bright green color with fine purple patterning over most of the body. They have clear green patches on the cheek and tail base, however, which is the easiest way to distinguish this species. The next species we will look at is Scarus tricolor. This is the male coloration, which has a pink and green scale coloring, pink patterning around the head, and a tail fin that has two pink lines. Females, on the other hand, are black with a red tail and light blue scales near the bottom of the body. And the last Scarinae species we will review is Scarus rubroviolaceus. This is the male. It has no special markings, but has a body with a purple to green gradient. The faint green blaze from the pectoral fin to the tail base is also very distinguishable. The female is red with black and white scale patterning over the body. 
Quiz time. We have a small overview to test your knowledge of the families which swim using their pectoral fins. Which fish belong to the Labradae or wrasses, and which to the Scaridae or parrotfish? Pause the video to see how you do. Are you ready? Here's a tip for getting these correct. Remember that Labradae or wrasses generally have small terminal mouths while the parrotfish species have a beak as a mouth with no lips. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video to continue your fish identification.